Good morning, my friends. It's Patrick Allman here from Stop Doing Nothing Media. And it is, uh, you know what? It's Sunday, August 4th, 1013 Central. And um, I've gotten some questions this morning, uh, either publicly and or privately via DMs, about people that just don't even know where to start with SaaS or with running an agency. And it's it's actually kind of common. You know, that Facebook group has 75,000 people in it. And, you know, all a good chunk of them are, are SaaS uh, owners. They're not individual owners, they're SaaS owners. And that's why also, if you don't know it, there's a second group uh, from high level called SaaSpreneurs. I think it's like high level dash SaaSpreneurs. So if you're not on that one and you do have an agency, make sure you go join that Facebook group too also. So here's the question. I'm going to actually read one of the two of the questions and so we can kind of lead from there into the answers and my thoughts on this. So one of them um, is a lady in the Facebook group who says, I struggled with setting up the agency. Okay, we're gonna talk about that. She doesn't even have a doesn't it to me appear that she even has a funnel yet, um, which um, which I'm gonna encourage her obviously to set up. Uh, but then uh, another another great gentleman uh, says, but I'm just kind of lost on where to start. I love the idea of SaaS. I love the idea of PPC and Facebook ads. Uh, and I also want to get into coaching. Okay, so that's this is specifically what I'm going to address is is coming at it from uh, not the retail side, not the wholesale side, not the industrial side. Uh, uh, I specifically work, you know, with coaches, thought leaders, people who sell their knowledge. Uh, you know, most of the time I've been um, active in business since I don't know, you know, how many decades. Um, <laughs> it's uh, I've always sold my knowledge. I've traveled across the world. I've sold my knowledge. I've done keynote speaking on stage. You know, that's selling your knowledge. And a lot of us are in that. And those are a lot of people in the high level world. So when you ask the question, uh, where to start? So people like high level, they like the agency concept, but they just don't know where to start. So assuming you have you, you have no assets whatsoever, here's my advice for you. First of all, keep it simple. You oftentimes see people say they have three, five, seven plans they sell. Man, over the years, the more and more I work and actually the more I get in the high level world, I'm actually reducing my number of plans. I don't want more plans and more pricing. I want premium pricing and I want a low number of plans. If you come to me, I'm gonna rock your world and here's the here's what you're going to invest for me to rock your world. So please keep it simple on your pricing. When it comes to someone like this gentleman here who wants to get into coaching, you have to think about you know what value do you bring to the market? If if let's say, for example, that um, we're talking uh, a real estate investing coach, okay? If you're a real estate investing coach, that means you know how to take me, the novice real estate investor, to going out and finding deals, getting you know hard money for those deals or creative financing for those deals, getting into that thing, maybe flipping it or holding it or doing whatever you do it, you know, with the single family market, with the multifamily market, with the commercial market, and then how to get a monthly profit out of that. So... If you can teach me how to do that, I will gladly pay you for it. And that's the basics of coaching right there. What you kind of have to first determine is, is the list of benefits that somebody gets from working with you. They get, you know, weekly coaching. They get access to your private group. They can text you for support. They can get weekly Zoom calls, whatever, whatever, whatever. And you kind of want to give a value to those things. You know, like if you want to hire me, and this is, I'm being very transparent here. If you want to hire me, uh, my block first consulting is $1,500 for a two hour block. So if I say you get X feature, Y feature, yada, 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 I kind of know the value of my time being that it's two hours for $1,500. And I can kind of give, you know, my list of things that you're going to get from coaching with me. I can kind of give you um, those and I can say it's worth yada, 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 and it's worth yada, yada, and it's worth yada, yada. That's called a value stack. And then from there at the bottom is, you know what, even though all this stuff retail would be, you know, $6,000 a month, you can buy into my mastermind for $4.97 a month at the bottom right there. So that's what's going to be on your sales page and your order form right there and possibly your VSL. And then what you, but remember, because you're a high level agency, one of the valuable things that comes with your package is your CRM. So I would, I would come up with my price. Let's say it's going to be four ninety seven a month. Okay. And then I would go back. Uh, I would obviously, you know, on, on my iPad or whatever, I would define all this, my value stack and, and, and the, the marketing and the branding side of things. Then over in high level, I would go in my agency level 
um, you know, where you create your, um, your, your, you're in the SAS configurator. Let me pull this up so I'm using the right terms. So over in SAS configurator where you set up your plans, let's say your mastermind is $4.97 a month. Go in here, create a $4.97 a month plan, give it a name, and then in your value stack, you're also saying, oh, and by all the way, and by the way, you get, you're going to get a, a, a whole tool to support what I'm going to teach you. So again, if you're someone who's, if you're someone who's teaching real estate investing and you're giving them X, Y, and Z, and maybe your X, Y, and Z is, oh, by the way, uh, you're going to get a website with with my real estate investing coaching. You're going to get uh, opt-in forms. You're going to get funnels. You're going to get um, automation. You're going to get all this stuff. Um, you know, uh, and 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 you basically you're giving them that package, and that's what you're building over in you know the SaaS configurator. So once you have your 497 a month over in SaaS configurator, you can then go back into your own um, your own sub account because it's an agency you obviously have your own sub account and you can build your funnel. You use that 497 product in your funnel and you start selling that. And and by the way, this isn't all one and done. This is iterative this is an iterative process of of you know um, defining your value uh, tying a plan to it from the SaaS configurator. So when they order, so when they order your coaching or your consulting, whatever, number one, the system sets up a CRM for them instantly, which is really cool. Um, and then eventually you're going to get really fancy and you're going to create a snapshot that's going to go with that plan. So when they buy your real estate investing coaching, they're not only getting the CRM, but the snapshot that has all the cool stuff, the funnels, the pages or whatever, that's going to get automatically dropped into their account. So you're giving them, you know, a real estate, almost like a real estate marketing business in a box almost, right? And then of course, you're going to have automation to onboard them. Um, and, and you being the agency, you're going to have to figure out your onboarding process. That could be a whole other video. But my whole point as I, as I kind of wrap this up here is you have to define your value. You have to make sure it's very high value. I'm, I, you know what? I, do, I am not a fan of, of things low ticket. Do not sell this stuff for $47 or $97, okay? To you, you know, $97, if you're just getting in this world, $97 may seem like a high ticket thing in the industry. I promise you it's not. And one of the ways you have to think about this is, and again, is you have decades of knowledge under your belt that has value in the market. You do not want to sell it for $97 a month or even $97 for a phone call. You want to sell it for thousands of dollars. And that's the capitalist in me speaking is you want to, you want to make your bundle so good that it looks like it's worth five or $10,000. But you know what? You get to buy into it for $9.97 a month or $4.97 a month. And this is all the stuff you get. And... By the way, you get a CRM and a snapshot of data in there. So as you're setting up your agency, uh, and specifically this is for the first time people coming into SaaS or agency, this is, obviously this is my particular opinion on how to do this, and I'm reflecting back to you some of the mistakes I wish I would have known earlier in business. But that's a good place to start, is build one plan over in SaaS configurator. Uh, don't get too over, don't get too overly concerned about the check boxes, about the features you have on and off. I'm over here looking in my SaaS configurator and I give everybody every single feature. Um, it doesn't really bother me. I'm rebelling them. You know, I'm multiplying their their uh, text message costs and their email costs at a, at a good rate. But um, I give them everything. I don't have plan one where they get five features and plan two where they get 10 features. Screw that. They get every feature, whether what, no matter what level you're buying over here. Remember, I have a very limited number of plans. Right now, I actually only have two things um, M, uh, two recurring uh, MRR type products you can buy from me and I really do like it that way um, but yeah if you have any questions please leave me a comment below on Facebook or in YouTube uh, and uh, and you can also shoot me these questions uh, live I, I do live stream uh, live streams every Monday Wednesday and Friday at 9 a.m. Central so um, keep the questions coming and best of luck the one thing I could tell you you could do today by the way is get that funnel going go over into your high-level account I mean again do do small iterative improvements. I don't have a I don't have a bracelet here, but I still oh there's a bracelet right there. Do small iterative improvements, okay? Done is better than perfect when it comes to this stuff. And the sooner you get something done and and up on the market to sell, the sooner you can start making money and just make constant iterative improvements. Okay, my friend? Have a great, great day and we'll talk to you on the next video.